Hello! If you love green tea, and millions of people do, well, there's something disturbing that you need to be aware of. Indeed, it is a health concern, and you really need to be aware of it. That's what's coming up next. I'll tell you all about it after the channel intro. Now for today's 2020 idea of better health, please welcome on stage, Dr. Joe. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Joe of the DrJoe.com. Right, this video is about green tea side effects. Green tea is very popular, is used by millions of people all over the world, uh, mainly because of its professed health benefits, not least uh, because of its antioxidant properties. Research tells us that green tea is good for our brain, it's good for our heart, it's good for type 2 diabetes, both the prevention and control of type 2 diabetes. Research also tells us that green tea may actually assist with weight loss. On that account, weight loss companies have come up with new products containing the concentrated form of green tea and these are called green tea extracts. Therein lies the problem because these products with green tea extracts in them are causing havoc to some people's health and sometimes with fatal consequences. Now rather than me spouting some theory about these green tea uh, side effects, uh, potentially you know serious side effects, uh, let's, let, let me illustrate with some real life cases these are you know case reports of people whose lives have been blighted by green tea uh, extracts so let's get on with it shall we yes so this problem of green tea extracts causing uh, liver problems has been going on for a while uh, this is a paper that was published in 2009 and the authors at the time did a literature search and you know, they looked at cases between 1999 and October 2008, and at the time they retrieved 34 cases of hepatitis. And um, you know, in in all of those cases, here is a more worrying feature: uh, necrosis. Okay, necrosis refers to cell death, and um, that is very serious. Um, and along those lines, here is a sentence that is even more worrying. Uh, in all of those 34 cases, there was one reported death. Okay, one reported death. So you know this this thing is pretty serious. Um, and the authors uh, concluded uh, that um, from what they saw, that there's a strong causal association between uh, green tea and liver damage. So this has been going on for a while, and I'm going to talk more about more recent uh, episodes. I want to talk about two cases here that demonstrate what green tea extract can do to your liver. Again, uh, this is uh, the first one is a 37 year old woman who presented with a classic picture of acute hepatitis four months after starting a weight loss supplement called the Right Approach Complex. And the main ingredient in the Right Approach Complex is green tea extract. Um, the picture you know, it's very typical of acute hepatitis, but the doctors uh, had done their best to exclude other causes like liver disease, alcohol abuse, and risk factors for viral hepatitis. And they were convinced that uh, the green tea extract was responsible for the problem. Anyway, they went ahead and did a cholecystectomy on the woman. Uh, cholecystectomy refers to removal of the gallbladder. Uh, she got better. She was discharged home. And then she presented a year later uh, uh, with the same symptoms again, and she admitted to going back on using the right approach complex. So you got to wonder why someone will go back to using um, a supplement that nearly killed her a year earlier, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, she got better again and she was discharged home. Um, next case is a 27 year old man who was using uh, a product called Hydroxycot, which is a weight loss supplement. And um, he presented four to five weeks after starting the hydroxycot. And the picture was also the same, uh, classic hepatitis picture. And uh, the doctors had also excluded other causes uh, of uh, hepatitis. And they were also convinced that uh, green tea extract was responsible for the, uh, the hepatitis-like picture. Anyway, he got better and he was discharged home. Uh, these two cases uh, also exemplify what green tea extract can actually do to one's liver. This paper here is a more recent one, and uh, in this one, 
they talking about more than 50 case reports of um, problems with the liver caused by green tea extracts being retrieved in literature. But here's something else I just want to point out. Um, in this paper, um, they talk about, well, these findings, according to them, they say these findings suggest that the liver injury from green tea extract, that GT means green tea extract. Uh, so I'll go over that again. This finding suggests that the liver injury from green tea extract is an idiosyncratic reaction. Um, what does that mean? It means uh, you and I may be using green tea extract. I may get away with it, but you may not. So it is sort of individualistic. Um, and it's difficult to predict who's going to develop the problem with green tea extract. That unpredictability means we have to be very cautious uh, the way we use uh, the green tea extract. I have saved the worst for last. Uh, this is a story about a gentleman, which I call him Peter, but that's not his real name. Uh, it's a story that I ran recently on the BBC, and it was titled, you know, Food Supplement Ruined My Liver. Um, this gentleman had been using green tea extracts for a couple of months and um, he went for his son's graduation ceremony and being outdoors the wife you know noticed something different about him and the wife said peter do you feel okay and he responded saying yeah i feel fine why do you ask and the wife responded saying well your face is yellow your eyes are yellow you look terrible and at that point in time because he wasn't actually having any unusual symptoms he felt well but uh on the inside, he was actually very sick, and he just didn't know it. Um, naturally, he went to hospital after the graduation ceremony, and lots of investigations were carried out to exclude possible causes of the liver problem, and the doctors didn't find any cause. And then uh, his liver specialist then asked the question, oh, what about over-the-counter medications? Are you using any? And he said, oh, actually, I use uh, green tea extract food supplement. That was the aha moment. Um, because obviously nothing else was found. It had to be the green tea extract that was responsible for the liver issues. Uh, things took a, a, you know, a turn for the worse. Uh, his liver was so badly damaged that the liver specialist told him, well, actually, you need a new liver. And that meant liver transplant. So you can imagine how devastated this man was. Um, and to make things worse, uh, the doctor told him, well, you actually need a liver transplant in days, not even a week. You need it in days. Um, he would have been really terrified and frightened. Um, anyway, as luck would have it, they actually found the liver for him in days and he had his liver transplant successfully. He's doing okay, uh, but only just because his kidneys are also trashed by the green tea extract. So much so that he's undergoing dialysis at the moment and it's been suggested to him that he's going to need kidney transplant as well. So this was a really bad case. Um, of green tea extract trashing, you know, his liver and, and, and his kidneys. Um, so what's the offending agent? Well, is this thing called epigallocatechin 3 gallet or EGCG for short? Uh, that is the active ingredient in uh, green tea extract. And this epigallocatechin 3 gallet uh, is actually toxic to the, to the liver and, and in Peter's case, the kidneys as well. So, you know, it's something to look out for and one has to be very careful about, you know, using green tea extracts. Right, so the idea is not to scare you, but to point out what could potentially go wrong if you're using products with green tea extracts in them. Here's the thing though, there are some people who are using some weight loss supplements with green tea extracts in them and they don't know that this product actually contains green tea extracts. So I've gone ahead and gotten a list of some products with green tea extracts in them. The list is not exhaustive, by the way, but it's just to give you an idea. So here is the list of the products uh, that have green tea extracts in them. One is Exolis, uh, Hydroxycot, which you saw in the video presentation, Dexotrin, Slim Quick, Slim Cut Fat Burner, The Right Approach, which you also saw as one of the uh, pro offending products in the case uh, report, Mega Green Tea, 
green tea fat burner so these are products that actually have green tea extracts in them like I said the list is not exhaustive uh, if you have any weight loss supplement you may just want to have a look at the list of ingredients just to make sure that there's no green tea extracts uh, in it if there is then you may want to have a rethink as to whether you want to continue using that product the main problem is this uh, these products these weight loss uh, supplements with green tea extracts in them they are so concentrated that um, you know some people their liver cannot really deal with the concentration the active ingredient which is the epigallocatechin 3 gallet uh, is too high in some of those products and then um, you know some people's liver just cannot handle it and on, on the basis of that the liver begins to react and uh, in some cases the liver will fail as you saw in Peter's case and also as you saw in Peter's case his kidneys cannot cope so some people their kidneys cannot also deal with the epigallocatechin 3 gallet uh, active ingredient because the concentration is too high so this is a case of having um, you know too much of a good thing such that that good thing becomes poisonous and uh, if if you find yourself in that situation where you're using some of these products you may want to reconsider because uh, you don't want to be the next victim that is the point you don't want to be the next victim by the way the formulations do differ so the amount of green tea you have in weight loss supplement A may be different from what you have in weight loss supplement B. Having said that, once you see green tea extract uh, on the list of ingredients, then you need to be concerned uh, because it simply means the concentration of the active ingredient epigallocatechin 3 gallet is high and you don't know how your liver or your kidney is going to react. So uh, that's something for you to think about. Now, am I saying you shouldn't use green tea at all? No, that's not what I'm saying because here I am in the house. I've got this. This is regular green tea. Now, do you know how many bags of this green tea you have in one weight loss supplement with the green tea extract? 24 bags in some of them. Okay, 24 bags. Now, I don't know about you. I don't drink 24 cups of, of green tea a day. I don't. And you probably don't. So it just puts into perspective how concentrated those products with green tea extracts actually are now if you know anybody who is using any of those products that i mentioned on that list uh, you may want to send this video to them for them to watch uh, for them to make up their mind whether this is something they want to continue using or not or if you know anyone who is obsessed with using weight loss supplements you may also want to send this video to them why because uh, people who are obsessed with weight loss supplements they tend to jump from one weight loss supplement to another and uh, they may want to watch this video for them to make up their mind whether um, for them to know what to do and also to be looking at the list of ingredients uh, because if you've got any weight loss supplement in the house go and have a look check the list of ingredients and if you see green tea extract please um, ask yourself the question whether you want to continue using that uh, weight loss supplement uh, in the medium to long term right uh, I mean I've enjoyed making this video um, if anything to highlight the dangers of green tea extracts and um, you know uh, if if you liked what I've, I've done here uh, give this video a thumbs up and um, you know you like I said you may want to share this video with a friend of yours and uh, if you got anything to say well say it in you know say it below uh, right there in the comment section uh, I think that's about it. Uh, until next time. Well, oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, well, do subscribe. The subscription button is just right there. Okay? I think that's about it. Until next time. Well, this is Docs Joe signing out.